Ladies, if you think all men are potential creeps, you've got company. I'll talk to a body language expert who teaches cops how to read crooks and women how to do the same thing with their dates. All that and a whole lot more right here on Weekend Live. Coming up, we're going to talk about body language. What does your body language say about what kind of person you are as we lead up to Valentine's Day? Find out. And incoming, get your emails in. We'll be waiting. All right, it's a week today until Valentine's Day. What if you don't have a date? My next guest guarantees she's got the know-how to help women land dates six nights a week and use night number seven to pick a special someone. So we're going to find out. Joining me in studio, Janine Driver, a law enforcement trainer and an expert in body language. She has taken her law enforcement skills and applied them to dating. What a concept. Yeah. How'd you come up with this yeah. idea? It's fun. You know, I have a lot of friends that are single and they needed some advice. They don't know how to read body language, especially guys. They don't know what we're saying. Yeah. You know, men are like, Janine, what, what are guys telling me? I don't understand. Yeah. So I've created a class called How to Have a Date Six Nights a Week if you want. But, but I love the concept that you look at criminals and say, oh, well, that's like guys. I'll go ahead and use that for dating. Right, right. <laughs> and it's interesting, you know, like one of the big tips is if you and I are having a conversation, right. Tony, and we're getting along great, you think I'm flirting with you, yeah. all of a sudden you say something and my face stays here but my body shifts away, <laughs> right? Subconsciously, I want out. I face yeah. an exit, yeah. so I want out. I'm yeah. done with you, Tony. Right, okay. Right? So talk about some of the key tips. What do you tell people to look for? Well, uh, different things like men, right, we do yeah. cleaning things right so men will adjust their cufflinks they'll fix their tie right they'll sit, adjust their coat when they sit down what, what, what is the funniest thing that men do that they don't know they do they check out their fingernails so they check yes, out their fingernails. yes yes before they go on a date if they really like a woman what they'll do is they'll check out make sure that their cuticles look great and their fingers look wonderful isn't that funny? That is weird. Okay, what yeah. do women do? So women will play with our hair subtly, you know. Yeah. We might touch our thigh. We'll sexily, like, uncross our legs. Right. Right, not Sharon Stone-ish, but, you know, <laughs> but we'll uncross our legs. So what, if you're giving tips, you talk about getting dates, what do women need to keep in mind? Well, women need to pay attention to what we're saying to others. Fifty percent of what we're communicating to others is nonverbal communication. It's right. body language. Right. So we really need to pay attention to what are we telling men. If I'm just cold and my arms are crossed, yeah. I'm saying I'm bored, I'm not interested. Yeah. So you want to be open, you want to have your palms facing the person. Hey, Tony, that's nice well, to meet do, you. Do you ever worry, though, that somebody's sitting around, it, they're, they're trying to have a good date and they're thinking, God, what are my palms supposed to be doing right now? I mean, do you worry that you're going to make people think too much? Right. So sometimes, like, people ask me if I have to turn it on. I'd yeah. be like that Jim Carrey movie where he becomes God, <laughs> right? If I kept it on all the time, all yeah. these messages would be coming at me. So it's something that we have to be aware of. Subconsciously, it automatically happens. Like, right. if you talk with your hands over your mouth a lot, that's an indicator of detecting deception, right? Really? So well, you, because you think you're... Right. You, you don't believe what you're saying. Right. So I mask what I'm telling you. I don't believe what I'm saying. <laughs> so and you might just do it as a nervous habit but the woman is thinking there's something about Tony I just don't trust uh, yeah okay right so and you might not be able to place you know your finger on it but that's what it is now, I like this claim that you can get a woman a date six nights a week what's the yeah. secret well I teach them how to establish rapport and control I teach them to rapport look for and difference. control right, right. Okay, okay forget yeah. the rapport part what's the control part <laughs> well I teach people how to mirror people's body language yeah. and then people like people who are like themselves right. right so I teach you to be more like the other person and then you can gain control over them it's <laughs> It's fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. It's, it's good for persuasion techniques, too, and increasing sales and increasing clientele, right, for businesses. Right. I work with businesses, too. Okay, but, yeah. but we're, we're still talking about the language of love here. The so language of love. So one tip, if you had one tip to give people, what would it be? It would be eye contact. Make sure you have great eye contact and be aware of what your facial expression is saying to others. I took a class and this woman at the end you had to stand up and say who you wanted to be and you'd stand and say, I'm the possibility of truth. And this woman stood up and she said, hi, my name's Michelle. I'm the possibility of enthusiasm. Okay, website, quickly. www.liontamer.com. L-Y-I-N. Okay, Lion Tamer. There you have it, folks. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back.